get ready to have a little bit of fun this morning. You guys, good morning. Thank you so much for attending today's presentation. I know many, many, many of you, some of you guys are existing clients with CI Web Group, some with DNET, some have attended our 12-step roadmap program. I see some Mitsubishi folks on there. You guys, we've got a lot of great people, and thank you so much to all of the guests that uh, uh, you guys are coming to the 12-step roadmap for the first time. This is an awesome program, and I'm so excited that you're going to be joining us. But I don't know if you have ever committed to a year-long training program, but that's exactly what this is. This is the 12-step roadmap to accelerated results. And uh, hosted by Casey and myself, we're going to go ahead and go through um, just some details so you kind of know a little bit about Casey and I and uh, you know how the program started, what we're going to be doing, and what your commitment is, and really what kind of value this is going to bring to your business and your life as we go through 2014 and years to come. The program obviously is constantly changing. Uh, you are literally in an environment where technology is moving so rapidly that by the time we, we provide a training, the training quite possibly is outdated in many environments, especially when we're talking about technology. So I, I encourage you to stay involved. Um, we always say show up, suit up, and participate in all the trainings that we do. But really, this is how Casey and I uh, give back to our organization, our uh, all of our guests that attend, all of our speaking events, all of our fans and followers that are on our social media accounts, all of our customers. We absolutely love you, and and this is our way of really keeping you engaged in the program, making sure you have the latest and greatest, making sure that you have some accountability uh, uh, partners in place, some coaches, some guidance, and that you're always on the right map. And that's really what this is about. So with that, um, I'm going to let Casey Everhart my business partner, the CEO of Dina, introduce himself. Casey, just to, to kind of give you a, a, a quick intro, this man is the most powerful keynote and platform speaker that I know. Absolutely delivers an incredible presentation every single time, packed with value for his audience. He's 100% focused on helping every person in that audience win, and that's really what this is about. With that, Casey, if you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself, so uh, we'll go from there. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm so thrilled and honored to be here with each and every one of you. And before we get started, I want to just say a big thank you, uh, because I understand how many things there are in your life going on right now, and you chose to put all of them on hold to be with us. So I just want to first say a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you. You know, really quickly, a tiny bit about myself. I came from the amusement park and the entertainment industries, and the experiences I learned in both of those industries have given me a foundation to help grow and create businesses. My career has been built on buying, selling, and building organizations and companies and teams and so on and so forth. And so my motto kind of is very simple, is always give way more value than people expect to receive and everything else, everything else will fall into place. So, you know, this is not more about me, this is not more about Jennifer, this is about you guys and the content and the value that you're going to get out of this 12 or this 12 month, 52 week training series is going to be off the hook. So I'm really excited to be here. And again, if there's anything that we can do to help help you get where you need to go, we're happy to do that. Fantastic. Thank you, Casey. And you guys, myself, I'm Jennifer Bagley, my background. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Go. You don't get to do that great introduction of me and not, not let me have a little crack at introducing you, Jennifer. All right, shoot. Sorry. That was a nice try. I'm blessing already. <laughs> you guys, I am so thrilled and honored to be with Jennifer Bagley in this endeavor. You know, I'll never forget the day Jennifer and I first met. I was doing a presentation and I was standing up on stage and I remember very well I was at the top floor of a of a country club somewhere in Dallas, Texas, and I was doing a presentation, and I literally stood on stage and said, I'm low-tech, big check. And I used to run around stage and think that was fantastic. And then in walks what is arguably the most powerful speaker presenter I had ever seen up until that point, Jennifer Bagley. And she walked in, and she walked in with an entourage, and that entourage was doing things that I had never dreamed possible or understood for the life of me. She had... Uh, people that were tweeting, people that were Facebooking. There was there was Kathy Marshall's taking more pictures than paparazzi. And all of us looked around in the room, and we all looked at each other, and we just went, well, what in the heck just walked in? 
And then she started talking about mindset, about technology, about strategy, about behavior, about how 15-year-olds are going to be making business decisions. And it was at that moment that I sat back and went, wow, this is about to get really fun. And so it's been an amazing journey over the past couple of years, and watching Jennifer present over and over and appear at many, many different events has only increased my admiration and respect for the woman. So, Jennifer, you are absolutely amazing. I can't talk now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now my eyes are all watery and my face is hot and flushed. Casey, thank you so much. You guys, this is... This is just awesome. Casey and I have such an incredible working relationship and the balance between our talents and skills is absolutely incredible. But more importantly, the value um, proposition and our vision is so in alignment. It makes it incredibly easy for us to build businesses, whether it's our own or other companies, because we believe in the same principles. We have the same vision. We have the same passion. And that's very hard to find. Um, in a partnership. I'm sure those of you that have experienced different partnerships, um, most of the time or many times things are off kilter and that's something that I really uh, value more than, more than anything as far as my partnership with Casey. For those of you that know me, my background is in a large corporation, sales supply chain, supply chain compliance, supply chain strategy, ERP implementation, CRM implementation, logistics operations, and for the last 10 years, I have been an entrepreneur, made it to the, the ceiling in corporate America and decided I was going to have a female moment and quit one day on a Friday and, and jump into this entrepreneurial environment and have been an entrepreneur for the last 10 years, um, building, selling uh, our own businesses as well as others. And so this has really been uh, an absolute blessing and it wasn't until, uh, it wasn't until I met um, our coach. Uh, Tony Jerry, where the way that I think about business, the way that I think about strategy completely changed. I'll tell you, you guys, I spent most of my life as a technical trainer with advanced knowledge. I was a black belt in um, uh, Six Sigma. I was a certified project manager. I had a tremendous amount of technical expertise and so to me business was a mathematical equation that if you align all of the, the numbers in the proper uh, sequence and order you're going to get a specific result and what Tony has really taught me um, and our organization over time is that it's such a bigger it, this is such a bigger world than that, than this mathematical equation. And without having extreme clarity in what you want in your life, it's going to be very difficult for you to build the type of business that you need. So I'd like to introduce you to Tony Jerry. Um, he is known as the results guy. Uh, he's our coach, our mentor. He's the coach to the top 500 CEOs in the world, author of over 40 books. He's our client. We've built over, I think, five or six websites for him. We do a social media marketing and so forth. Um, but you're going to notice that a lot of principles and practices come from the methodologies that he teaches within uh, within his programs. And, and so you'll have an opportunity throughout the 12 uh, step roadmap program to get to listen to Tony, listen to some of his thoughts, his ideas and concepts, and just know that our organization practices, preaches, and uh, is incredible implementers of the methodologies that are taught within his organization. So you kind of get an extended uh, training and coaching program as well. So with that, you guys, this is, as we said, this is a 12-month program. So are we asking for commitment? Absolutely. The reason is most businesses, when they start, think about building a website or launching a Facebook page as a project. And what I have to really, really stress is that marketing is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle that you have to embody. If you think about it, most business owners, you know, they they care a little bit about how their website looks or how it works, or they care a little bit about their social media presence. When the reality is the internet is the number one largest uh, broadcasting system for you and your brand. And as a business owner, whether you're the CEO, VP, a solopreneur, uh, a small business, a mid-sized company, the internet and your presence on the internet is the most important Thing you can participate in. It has to be because it simply is the largest megaphone 
for your business in a visual environment, a, a context, a text environment, in an audio and visual environment, in every way, shape, or form. And so, really, we decided to launch the 12 step roadmap to achieve accelerated results as a 12 month, as Casey said, 52 week training program so that over time you can begin to embody not only the technical knowledge, the strategic knowledge, but the mindset and the daily routines and activities that are necessary in order for you to make more money. My guess is those of you that are attending this call are because you want to see more leads, you want to see more opportunities, you want higher quality opportunities, you want shorter sales cycles, you want higher profits within your company, and that's exactly what this program is designed to do. With that, our program it's, it's also, is, you yes? guys, it's also, it's also, if I can just jump in here, one of the things that is so important is, you know, when Jennifer and I sat down and we said, hey, do we want to do this training monthly? Do we want to do it weekly? Do we want to do it every two weeks? Do we want to do a go-to webinar? Do we want to do a conference call? Do we want to do it live in person? What we, what we really wanted to drive home was the fact that each and every one of these trainings is about what's working right now. So this training at the end of at the end of 52 weeks, we may be discussing things that in this these opening trainings may not be the same. They may have shifted. Technologies may have changed. Different platforms may have changed. The marketplace itself may have changed. And so it's really great that you're all here because this is going to be a really good hands-on focused training about what's working today, not what worked in 2011, 2010, 2009. And also not what's what's coming 2020, 2030. We're really focusing on today and and a little bit in the future. I'm so glad you brought that up. You know, Casey and I, after doing this for so many years, obviously we digitize a tremendous amount of content. We digitize our mission, our met, our, our our I almost said our madness, our methods, our methodologies. We we digitize questions and answers and so forth. And we're we've really gotten into um, a habit of making sure at the end of every one of these sessions that we tell you I know this is great information you're gonna implement it and so forth but I encourage you to come back because quite possibly tomorrow it's going to be different and that is exactly what Casey was alluding to is technology is changing at a rate that is un realistic for many people to keep up with independently and operate and all the functions within their own business so we're going to really, really focus on bringing you, like Casey said, what's working, what's current today. And will the orientation change next year in 2015? Yes. In 2016? Yes. 17? Yes. Absolutely. Things are going to change. So stick with the program. Make a commitment to invest in you and your business for a brief amount of time on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, and you're going to see a tremendous, a tremendous difference in your business. So the program, how it works, this is very simple. 12 months, four sessions per month, everything is recorded on video. Do we want you to show up for the live video? Absolutely. The reason is, you guys, Kathy Marshall is on with us and she's moderating the call. You guys have the ability to raise your hand, ask questions at the event. At the end of the session, we'll answer those questions and so forth, so you can be interactive. Of course, Casey said before this started, and we had uh, uh, him introducing everybody and, and learning who was on the call and so forth, you guys will have the opportunity to get some free publicity and promotion if you participate, because we're going to be reviewing your work as we go throughout the year. However, we know life is busy. We know your businesses carry you around the world and, and you can attend via video anytime. However, if you miss it, don't worry. At the end of every single month, everyone that is registered for the program is going to get an email with all four sessions as well as we're going to be including two bonus sessions which we have two other programs you may or may not be familiar with. One is called Accelerate, which really is for leaders of businesses, CEOs of small or mid-sized companies, as well as uh, solopreneurs that are seriously, seriously focused on, on bigging, excuse me, on growing a, uh, their business into a larger size business. And we also have, uh, Casey, you wanna introduce it? Yes. Yeah, so each and every, each and every week we do a, a another show called the Double Your Check Call, and that call is really designed to bring you uh, tips, tricks, tools, interviews by leading experts, leading technologies, and it's more designed for 
I would say the solopreneur, the entrepreneur, and the small to me smallish medium business size owners. And it's really designed from a hands-on perspective of doing. And the more we do, the more we change, the more we change, the better our accelerated results. And so that call, you will also receive those calls as well. And that happens once a week. Fantastic. So you guys will get those at the end of every month. Uh, now, we're going to talk about results. If your current results are not exactly what you want, then you need to change your thinking so you can change what you do so you can get a different result. If you don't like what you're getting, change what you're doing. The only way to change what you're doing is you have to think, change what you're thinking. So through the entire program, we're going to be talking about results. We're going to be really, really focused on how you think, what you know, what you do. And this is going to really be a focal point of, of what's going to accomplish those results. As I told you before, as a technical trainer, the numbers are what matter. As you start drilling into and digging into people and how they function and how they think and what they do and where they spend their time and their mind, you notice that the numbers lie. What I mean by that is I can take two businesses, exact same industry, exact same product, exact same service, exact same price, exact same street corner, and I can give them the exact same website, the exact same marketing plan, the exact same monthly spend on their marketing, SEO, social media, and so forth. And one result are through the roof, and one's results are moderate to mediocre. If all numbers add up, technically, the math should produce the same result. But the reality is we have the biggest, the biggest factor that changes exactly what you get, and that's you, people, how you think and how you spend your time. And I say, and how you spend your mind. And those are things we're going to concentrate on as well. All right, so Casey, you want to introduce, these are the three things we're going to focus on throughout the entire uh, training program. A absolutely. You guys, this is a foundational program that what Jennifer is talking about is so correct. We have to be able to change and shift very quickly and very um, broadly in order to create a massive accelerated result. And so this program is really designed for you to get clear on what you really want. We have conversation after conversation after conversation with business owners where when we start to drill in on what is it that you really want, there's very flippant answers that we receive all the time. We want more time. We want more freedom. We want bigger, we want bigger sales. We want bigger EBITDA. Um, you know, different, different things that people want but really it's taking the time to drill down and find out really why do you want what you want and does that change the actual outcome. So this program is also designed to really get you laser focused and target, targeted on what it is that you really truly want, okay? The other thing is it's taking what you really want and be able to hone in and focus on doing the right things to help you get what you actually really want. And this is, this is going to be a really key point in this journey with us, you guys, is we all have to get really clear on what we actually want. And, and, and by getting clear on what you want, that doesn't mean, oh, we want to be debt free, or oh, we want to add one salesperson this year, or, or we want to hit 5,000 fans on our Facebook page. This is a broader spectrum conversation that we'll be walking through as well. Then we decide, once you have clear exactly what you want, now it's about focus. It's about focusing on the right things that are going to help you get where it is you want to go. And in that process, in that conversation, we'll be defining HLAs. Those are your high leveraged activities. Those are the things that actually move you closer, move the needle, move the dial closer to what it is that you actually really want. And then lastly, it's executing those HLAs, high leverage activities, to get you right to where you want. For example, it's really about taking something that's producing a result, and I like to call it the lather, rinse, repeat method. If something's producing you an accelerated result, we want to do more of that. If something we try doesn't produce a result, well then, okay, let's only do it a little bit. Let's, let's look and see, are we, is that really the most highly leveraged activity we could be doing right now to, to get to the point of exactly what we want? 
And so this program is really designed for these three things. It's first getting clarity, then it's focusing, and then it's lastly executing those activities they're going to move the dial to where you want to go. Absolutely. You guys, if you think about it, there's only 168 hours in a week. You spend about 12 of those hours on personal maintenance. You should spend, entrepreneurs, <laughs> you should spend about 56 of those hours sleeping, my friends, which means you're left with about 100 hours. If you think in terms of that limited time block, it makes you really effective at managing time. You want 70 to 80% of your time spent out of the 100 plus hours directed towards your high leverage activities. A good balance is about 30 hours, 30 to 35 hours on personal high leverage activities and about 35 hours on professional high leverage activities. If you think about getting clear on what you really want, this is a bigger conversation than dot, dot, dot in your business. This is a conversation about what you want in life. Many times as an entrepreneur, we will compromise personal for professional. And I have to tell you, having been through that, having worked tirelessly 24 hours a day, seven days a week, answered phone calls at all hours of the night, neglected my family personally, I've done all this. And I know the reality of what it does by compromising areas of your life, such as your health, your spouse, your children, your sleep, you effectively are going to burn and churn. You may see results in a professional environment for a short term, but if you do not have clarity on what life means to you, being able to design a business plan that is gonna produce a long-term impact that is a, a successful one, a, a positive one on your entire life is going to be very difficult. So when we talk about getting clear on what you want, you have to continually ask yourself, what is the best use of my time right now? And then prioritize accordingly. Tony says no single skill or habit has a more powerful impact on the results than the ability to eliminate distractions and simply focus on high leverage activities. That's really what we're going to be concentrating on. I know that in the back of your mind, you may have a business plan you've already outlined. In 2013 or the year prior to when you're watching this, you may have already written down what your goals are. It is okay to reevaluate those goals. As you go through this program and you're presented with new information, I hope that it changes your thinking. That is one of the greatest skills you can have when presented with new information information, I have the capability and ability to change my mind. And I hope that's what this is. Business plans are supposed to be dynamic. Goals are supposed to be fluid. You're supposed to constantly be evaluating who you are, what you want, how you're going to get it, what your value is, what your person is, what your, excuse me, what your purpose is, what your vision is. And do you have something that's really pulling you, pulling your heartstrings, pulling your, your mind, your thoughts, your actions towards a place that you really want to go? So as we go through this, gaining clarity so that you can focus, having the ability to focus on the right things in the right order at the right time will allow you the ability to execute. If you think about it, without clarity, you cannot focus. Without focus, you cannot execute. And without execution, you cannot win. This entire program is designed to help you win. So it's okay to reevaluate whatever you have on paper as we go through this program. With this, I have a saying that I've, I've said in my companies um, since the beginning of time, and this really came actually more from corporate, uh, which was my, my personal creed. And it's really been adopted throughout our companies. I know it's been adopted through other companies. I get notes on a regular basis from individuals that talk about how this has changed the way they function, the way they operate personally, professionally, and within their companies. The creed is simple. I promise to protect and leverage my time, money, relationships, and technology. When you look at the words protect and leverage, it, it is incredibly critical that you think very clearly about those two words, to protect and to leverage. You only have a few things that you can't get back. Now, time is one of the things you can't get back. 
but you can make more of it. So as we get into different sections of the 12-step roadmap and we're talking about digitization, we're talking about duplication, we're talking about replication and so forth, you're going to realize that you can leverage your time. You're going to, to realize that you can leverage your money, but you also have to realize it's critical for you to protect it. All too often you see business owners that are living inside a rocking chair, constantly moving, but never going anywhere. The rocking chair syndrome is disastrous for a business. Many times you'll see them implementing or investing in different marketing activities, advertising activities, simply because they saw somebody else doing it, or simply because they don't know what else to do, or simply to be doing something. That's not a good enough reason. It's not protecting. It's definitely not leveraging one of your most valuable assets, which is your, your capital. Leveraging relationships online and offline, meeting them online only to bring them offline, meeting them offline only to connect with them online. We have to think about how to move faster. We're in a day and age where technology has increased our capability to learn, move faster, connect quicker, to make decisions faster. We don't have long red tape, long-winded business plans. It doesn't take forever for us to get the information we need to make a better decision. So we must take advantage of the day and age that we're in. Many things uh, people would consider negative. So much content, so much information, so many ways to connect. How do I keep up with people contacting me on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and email and text messaging and all of these different communication devices? Instead of looking at it as a how do I, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming, get out of the place of overwhelm and simply go back to a creed. I promise to protect and leverage my time, money, relationships, and technology. The day and age we're in with technology's advancements is amazing. Casey, you want to you wanna, uh, go into our four uh, focus areas for the sessions? Absolutely. These four areas, you guys, are, in my, in my opinion, one of the best things that if you can grasp a hold of these four areas of business and improve in each of them, by changing mindset, by changing technology, by changing the network or the people you stay, hang around, and by changing a strategy, it's going to open up a completely new world for you. So the four, the four areas that this training will concentrate on over the course of the next year are the different technologies, right? That's one small, that's only one small piece of it. And so often we find that businesses are getting tripped up, hung up on the technology. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on where you where you sit at this at this point in juncture, technology can either be your very best friend or your 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 worst enemy. And so it's our goal to really bring to the forefront the conversation about technology, the changes, the current trends in technology, and to bring that to you to help you create that opening to get you focused on your HLAs. And I, and and as a as a person where the area of my business my uh, my business was lacking was in the technology. When I when I when I look at where the plot was or where the architecture was of my past businesses, the technology piece was always the piece that got us caught up. Because my brain doesn't think like an engineer, it doesn't think like a computer. It was very hard to wrap my wrap my head around for our organizations how to increase that technology. But by opening up and changing and allowing the change and allowing to learn technology. It has blown the doors wide open for the businesses that we that we help support. So f look at these four places, figure out where you're a little bit weaker or, and where you're the strongest, and look to bring those into a into more of a balance. The next up is strategy, right? There there is for the most part in most cases a right thing in the right order sort of schedule, and so often. When we, when we consult with organizations and we consult with businesses, we find that their strategies a lot of times are more focused on what they think they're good at or what they think um, that is producing results. And so often we can go in and dissect a strategy, and I'd invite you to do this for your own, for your own organization, is, is there the right strategy and are you doing the right things in the right order? For example, tweeting about something is one thing. Tweeting about a blog post that's been created, a piece of content that's created a permanent asset 
is an entirely different strategy. One is you're just wasting seconds and time producing a tweet that lasts for seconds. Another one is you're driving traffic and you're doing a tweet based on a permanent asset. So we'll talk about that. We'll get into some nitty gritty on strategy as well. Next up is network. And this is probably the one that's closest to, to my heart. And that is, who are you hanging around? And I don't mean just on a personal level, but who is your company hanging around? Who is, who is it that you are surrounding yourself with? Are they businesses that are not as high in revenue as yours? So that you're the king, uh, you know, big fish in small pond? Is your organization playing in a, in a world where you're the small fish in a big pond or a big fish in a small pond? Right? Where you choose to hang out, where you choose to initiate business is quite often one of the most important elements in business. That goes for who are you hanging out around with on the weekends? Who are you enjoying the Super Bowl with? Who are you, who are you spending your time with both as a person and as an organization? And then finally, we combine these a little bit just for the sake of, of the presentation, but mindset and thinking. You know, this is one of those areas where it is so vitally important to get all of these working simultaneously in your favor to advance your business. And I would, I'll just use a, a, a small example. Remember in the introduction, I was talking about Jennifer and I was saying that I stood around on stage and I said I was low tech, big check. Well, really, my mindset at that moment was this is a really good excuse to keep me out of learning technology, keep me out of learning a strategy, and keeping me in a big fish in a small pond type of scenario. It wasn't until we cracked that open and started working on where my mind was, how was I thinking, that we were able to change and shift and focus, and the mantra became, it's now high tech, even bigger check. And once, once we were able to do that and correct the, the mindset or the thinking in my own personal organization, all the others came up and played a much higher level. So the four, the four areas that you have to get focused on, you guys, is technology. Do you have the right technology in place? Do you have the right strategy to implement that technology? How is your network? Where are you hanging out? How are you hanging out? And how are you showing up? And finally, mindset, thinking, and how that all plays into those three other areas. It creates a perfect storm when these four, these four pillars are in alignment. Absolutely. You know, one of the, the things that Tony mentioned in his Business Ground Rules book is the best way to achieve extraordinary results is to become intentional about being strategic in all areas of your life. And that intention is what we're going to set as we go through this program. You guys, the high achievers, they know what's going on with their competitors. It doesn't mean they have to spend mental energy knowing what their competition is doing day to day. However, high achievers and successful professionals know it's important to know how your customers or your competitors are talking to existing clients or, or prospects. You may not need the latest advances in technology. However, one thing is for sure. You will need whatever your customers want. So as we go through this, we're going to provide, again, advice on technology, strategy, network, mindset, thinking, and so forth. Think about it this way. It is not what you're good at using, as Casey mentioned. It's not what you're comfortable with. It's not how you think you, com you uh, communicate and you research that is important. What is important is an audience of potential prospects that are out in the world utilizing different technology, different communication devices, speaking at different hours of the day, different times uh, within the night. And it's you making sure that you position yourself to what their needs are. And so we'll heavily be concentrating on what your customers need, what your potential prospects need. I heard a gentleman once, he said, well, my customers don't don't use the internet to find my services. And I, that's interesting because I have a client just like you that has 90% of their business coming from the internet. You have to think about his thinking. His thinking was that his prospects don't use the internet to find his types of service. When the reality was because his business wasn't positioned properly on the internet, he didn't see those prospects. Those prospects were not his prospects. They were someone else's. 
So it wasn't about necessarily the technology first or the strategy first or your network first. What it was about, he's got to change his thinking. All of you, including myself, including Casey, have to go as far as we can see and have someone challenge us to see further than that. And that's where we're going to concentrate. All right. Next, coaching. This is really what this pr program is about. Casey and I believe, believe in coaching. I'm hoping to be able to have Tony come on and talk a little bit about his coaches as well and his mentors. Those who succeed, succeed because someone else is pushing them to see further than they already see. Think about this. You don't know what you don't know. Therefore, you must invest in a coach to show you what's out there. Make an investment in yourself and your business and know that just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. We have people in all of our speaking events that raise their ha hand from a crowd or from an audience and they'll say, I don't lose business to the internet because my business is entirely referrals. But when Mary refers Joe to call John and Joe goes to Google and types in your company name or types in your product or your brand or your personal name and you don't show up, how do you know what you don't know, which is that John never called you? So you have to think about that. There is, I want everybody to think back 10 years. Think back five years. Do you have something now that you believe or you've seen that five years ago or 10 years ago you didn't know existed? You didn't know it could be done that way. You didn't believe that was the right way to do it. Have you changed your mind in the last five or 10 years to think a different way today than you did five years ago or than you did three years ago or than you did 10 years ago? If the answer to that question is yes, then do you believe that two years from now or 12 months from now or five years from now you can think something different that you didn't know existed today? It's very difficult for many to think about there's information, I don't even know what I don't know. That's a scary thought to me. But I'm constantly in the process of seeking what is it that I don't even know, I don't know, and who can share it with me. So through this, we're going to have, Casey mentioned earlier that, uh, what was your lather, rinse, and, and repeat? Lather, wash, rinse, and repeat? La I just stole it from per Purell. I lather, lather rinse, repeat. Fantastic. So that's a good introduction to an exercise that we're going to be doing throughout the entire year. Throughout the entire year. This isn't a one-time project. This isn't something you do annually or quarterly. This is something you do constantly. So we call it the KISS doing or KSS doing, which is keep doing, stop doing, and start doing. If you go back to how many hours you have left in an entire week, you're talking about 100 hours, 35 of which you should spend on personal, 35 you should spend on professional. We'll leave a few hours for your health or for spiritual time or, or however you want to spend that for uh, entertainment or relaxing your mind or TV or whatever those things are that, that you do outside of that. But if you only have 35 hours to invest in your personal self, and 35 hours to invest in your professional being. It's going to be critical that you go through an exercise consistently that allows you to draw a clear list of what you should keep doing, stop doing, and start doing. However, I encourage you to wait for just a moment before you start this project. We'll do this together when we go through the clarity exercise in the upcoming uh, upcoming sessions in our coaching and mentor program, one of the first things we're going to be doing, as Casey mentioned earlier, is we're going to be getting clear on what we really want. That clarity will allow you to create a list of what you should keep doing, stop doing, and start doing. And, and this will be focused, you guys, very much on results. This is a results-based training. So keep doing I think we just lost Casey right on his slide. All right, you guys. So this is um this is a, a quote from Casey. 
um, by changing your thinking, you can accelerate your results. You know, accelerate you guys. We are talking about quantum leaps, <laughs> leaps in your business that are extraordinary results that you don't know even existed or are even possible. We're not talking about, oh, we're going to try to help you grow your business 1% a year or 2% a year. We're talking about quantum leaps. So when we talk about accelerated results, it is imperative that we come to the table. And I'm going to implement on a dime the strategic plan to get us clear and execute our HLAs. That's when accelerated results show up in your business. Awesome, awesome. All right, you guys. So here's the agenda. Um, this is essentially how we're going to go through each session. The first portion of the session is going to be the strategic value and to gain clarity about what we're talking about for that particular uh, session. Every session is going to be very specific to a particular area within the 12-step roadmap. If you're not familiar with the 12-step roadmap, go to 12steproadmap.com. Right on the front of the page, there is a, a presentation that explains it. Also, you can go under, I think, forms, and there's an action plan that has all of the uh, different sections of the 12-step roadmap there as well. So first is uh, the strategic value and, again, clarity. The second uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to teach you specifically a how-to, very specific. So have computers ready, have pens and paper out, be ready to learn exactly how to do this. You guys, you have to think about it. You either have time or money to invest in your marketing. Some people invest way more in money and a smaller amount in time. Some people need to invest much more time because they have way less financial investment. But no matter which bucket you're in or anywhere in between, it's critical that you participate in the process. If you are outsourcing the majority of your marketing, so your social media marketing, your SEO plans, your uh, mobile marketing, email marketing campaigns, and so forth, you are going to have to participate in some way, shape, or form as the subject matter expert for your company as the brand, as the name, as the face, as the person that's delivering the products and or services. So no matter what, if you want to achieve accelerated results, the more you participate in this process, the more and the faster results you're going to see. So the next one is your homework, quite fittingly. During every session, we are going to have a specific homework assignment for that week. Why are we saying we're giving you homework every single week? Exactly what I just said. The more you participate, the faster you're going to encounter accelerated results. There is a huge difference between a client of ours like DFW Security who implements everything we recommend and they are constantly participating with us and the growth they've been able to see versus another client that maybe outsources some of the work to us and they don't participate. They don't provide content. They don't meet for the strategic meetings. They don't participate in their social environment. They don't engage and so forth. And so our goal is, is to give you a small homework uh, assignment every week so that you can participate with us. And that way you learn, you implement, and lastly, we evaluate and, and improve. By attending each live session, you have the ability to come back to the drawing board, raise your hand at the end of each session and say, I did it, I did my homework, and if it's something that we can see, we'll give you the opportunity. We'll either go look at your website, we'll look at a blog post, we'll look at a third-party site, we may go visit your Facebook page or your Twitter page and so forth, or your YouTube account, but we'll go evaluate a handful of your guys' homework each week and be able to give you advice on how to improve it. And you guys, I understand that my phone is breaking up a little bit, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to add in small chunks here for the remainder of the call, and by next week I'll have, I will have a, a new phone system put in place. Thank HLA. <laughs> awesome. That is absolutely an HLA. All right, you guys, last thing I want to address before we head out of here, we're going to keep you guys all on time, and I want to leave, leave um, some time for questions. Uh, this is a critical element of whether or not this 12-step program is going to work for you. 
uh, and it's it's number one. Number one is avoid negative thoughts. You've got to have a solution oriented attitude of how do we versus why we can't. And that mindset is going to be the difference in those of you that attend this program and have an incredible story to tell about your growth over the last 12 months or those of you that attend this program and you have a lot of notes but very little implementation and again everything in the middle. So I want, it's very easy and actually it's, it's unfortunately natural to have a why we can't mindset, a negative mindset. We're, we're inbred that way most of the time by parents and teachers and so forth that are constantly challenging us and we are always in a position of why I can't do that, why it doesn't work, how come it won't work, why it won't work for me, why I'm different, and if, or why um, you've, you have an example. Don't live in the, in the in, um, exception mindset. Because you have an example of something not working doesn't mean it always doesn't work. Um, Another thing to think about, this is, it is easier for you to keep doing exactly what you're comfortable doing. It is easier for you to live in a place of being comfortable than it is for you to challenge the way you think, do something different, and become comfortable being uncomfortable. This is very, very normal. It's easier for most people to have a negative mindset than it is to stay and keep their mind in an environment that is in a solution-oriented environment. Instead of trying to pick apart things that were said that don't apply or you have a different belief or you believe in something different, stay in a thought process that is constantly looking at how do I use the information or some of the information in order to achieve accelerated results. What piece of information can I take back to my business or to my life and implement it so that I can get better results? If you stay in the how do we use this information in order to gain accelerated results, how do we implement this for my business, how do we make this work in our industry, how do we make this work for our customers, if you stay in that mindset, I promise you, you will outperform anybody that lives in a mindset of why we can't, why it doesn't, why it won't work for me. So I think that's very important to go over. You guys, uh, I appreciate your time today. I know Casey does as well. If his phone is working, then he'll jump in here. This program is brought to you by, of, of course, CI Web Group, DNET, Casey, and myself. And with that, I'm going to take this off of um, presentation view. And I want to have Kathy go ahead and open up uh, the lines. If you want to ask a question or share some thoughts on uh, what you've heard today or what your intentions are as far as your participation in this program, then I'll ask you guys to go ahead and unmute yourself. If you have background noise, please keep your mics muted, but we'd love to hear from you. Any thoughts, intentions, if you want to uh, personally state how or what you are going to do as a part of your, your time investment in this. I'd love to hear it. It's our goal to help hold you accountable to what you want. So with that, you guys, any thoughts or comments? Hi, it's Andy Lockett. Can you hear me? I can. Who is this? Hey, Andy. What's your name? Good morning. Hi, Andy Lockhart. Welcome, Andy. Thank you, Casey. I, I think this is great, and you know, just just the sort of things you were just saying about uh, you're taking the negativity out of your life that just burns so much time and uh, in an un unproductive way. Myself, I'm going to try and uh, dedicate as much time as I possibly can to this course and uh, participate every week or every other week. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it, and just hearing what you guys have just said in this last hour is really excellent. Thank you. Excellent. And Andy, want to welcome you as well. You know, one of the things that you brought up is the idea of negativity. And I, I, let me switch a focus on, on how one thinks about this. Just because somebody says something or types something in a computer or says something does not make it true. And that's really how, for, for at least it, my side, I look at negativity as just because somebody says something, they think something, they feel something, doesn't make it necessarily true. Just 
Awesome. Andy, thank you for jumping in. Anybody else have any thoughts? or? Uh, Absolutely. And the other thing, of course, is that when you read an email or a text, Did we did we miss Andy in that in that question? No, all I, sorry, Casey. All I was going to add is the other thing is with, with email and text, you've got to try and read into the positive rather than reading as a negative, because you don't know what their intent was when they wrote something. Or have somebody else take your email over so that you're not spending time looking at emails that don't serve you and are not HLAs. Who else, who else has a question, comment, excited, excited about what's coming up, so on and so forth? Bruce Waterman, I'm going to start. I'm going to start calling people out. You guys, I can actually, I can actually see who's on the call. So, Bruce, what are your thoughts? Um, thank you, Casey. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here and to hear your both of, uh, inspiration from both you and Jennifer. Uh, is really a good kickstart to uh, a new year to think about high leverage activities and to get a different, better result. Fantastic, fantastic, Mr. Crenshaw. Blake, are you with us? Oh, Blake is Blake is off his microphone. Let's see who who else do we have? James Sheet. Do we have you with us? How about Janet Clark from the airport? Can you hear me? We can absolutely hear you, Janet. Welcome. Okay, great. Well, I'm actually sitting on a plane right now, so um, but I have a second to say that I'm totally uh, impressed with what you're doing. I'm psyched. I'm in, and uh, really feel that this is going to be pivotal for my business as well as uh, my network. So thank you so much. Excellent, Elf. Excellent. Well, please travel safely. Tim and Tim and Catherine Booth, the trainers. Hi, Casey. Good I morning. I like Tim. what you're doing. Good morning. I like what you and Jennifer are doing. Uh, I got to hand it to you and give you all accolades in terms of putting yourself out there. Uh, putting your ideas and what you do and the things that help you be successful in business and sharing that with people. So hats off to you. Uh, I guess if I were to add something content-wise uh, from when I was doing CQI and some other things way back when, I would say <clears throat> not to focus on negative, but to define a problem adequately, you got to have the naysayers. And that's a valuable component to any team as long as you rein it in and don't let them ride roughshod. And as long as you can adequately define a problem to the fullest extent possible, then you can come up with even better, new, unique solutions. So that would be my two cents worth, I guess, I'd add for this morning. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Tim. What you and Catherine are doing is fantastic, and I just I love watching the journey. It's it's quite a ride, and we appreciate you guys being here along with us. It's great. We're we're very uh, we count ourselves fortunate. Excellent. Who else would like to jump in here? Hey, Casey. Casey. Who's with us? Hey, this is Rick Bloom. You were next on my list, my friend. Glad to have you here. <laughs> it's glad to be here. This is uh, this is just going to 
Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me and everyone on this journey with you guys. Uh, you know I've been introduced to the 12-step roadmap uh, a little while ago, and this is just going to support everything that I've been working toward and the goals that I've already set out for myself for this year. And I just can't wait to go through this program with you and have it support everything that I'm doing. It's, I'm just really jazzed and excited. Fantastic, Rick. Well, we are excited uh, to have both you and Debbie working working with us. We're really, really excited. Cool. Pleasure to be here. Sophia. Well, I have a compliment for you and Jennifer. I appreciate how you have concisely outlined and you've given us um, just like the KSS just to remind us of what that means. And I think everything was easy to grasp. I think it's easy to quote um, as we share your information with others and send you referrals. So I love the way you formatted it. Excellent. Well, thank you, Sophia. We are excited and thrilled to have you in, in and part of our family. We're really excited. Well, it's been it's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, excellent, you guys. I know we have just a couple of minutes left, so I want to I, I want to kind of just say thank you again. We we're so excited. If you get something out of today and you want to share it on social media or you want to connect with Jennifer or myself, we're pretty accessible. And it, you know, social media is an easy way to get a hold of us. Most of you have our our cell phone numbers. Most of you have our our organization phone numbers as well. So with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it back over to Jennifer just for a quick 30 second wrap up you guys this has been fantastic we're so excited to see all the interaction and the enthusiasm by which you have embraced this this morning I'm really really excited fantastic thank you Casey and thanks to all of you um, I wish I could call out all your names I see Rick I, I see all of you guys Sue Tim thank you um, Kenny, Kevin, Ewing, I'm so happy you're here. Kimberly, I love you. I'm happy you're here. Jason Rowe, thanks for attending, you guys. Um, David, James, Charles, Bruce, Bruce. We got Sue Reynolds with us. Yes. You guys, everyone, I appreciate you attending today. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Casey and I have an awesome program set up for you next week. Uh, come, you guys, feel free to invite others, invite your staff. The more people from your organization that are on the same page, the more in alignment you'll be with as an organization. And again, the better results you'll see. With that, we're signing out. And uh, you'll have a copy of this live recording at the end of the month with the other three sessions. And we'll go from there. Thanks so much.